Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify. My girlfriend won't go on top. Help me. Why does she need to go on top? Listen, with this orgasm gap crisis, no woman should be going on top, okay? No, I'm joking. Like, that's what I always (laughs) say. Like, listen, I'm always talking about the orgasm gap, which is what the book is about. It's a disparity between men and women. Women are not having orgasms, not nearly as much as men are. So men should be putting in the work, leave women alone. No, but really and truly... (laughs) If she's not going on top, you need to have a conversation. Have a conversation and, you know, just express that it is something that you're really into and that you would like if there was more effort yeah, that was that put was in. That was my boyfriend yeah. that sent that one. Really? <laughs> <laughs> don't kill me, really. I was like, just Girl, don't get on top. your original. <laughs> don't get on top. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. How to do casual sex I always get in my feels. Oh, if you're always getting in your feels, maybe don't do casual, yeah, don't do casual sex. sex. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, don't do casual sex. Some people can do it, some people can't. Honestly, but if people like are built mix, up differently, like and, really that's, and that's okay. How to get over having a low sex drive? Oh, how how to get over? I think you need to identify why you have a low sex drive mm-hmm. at the moment. You know, is it stress? Are you going through stuff? Um, has it been a, a long time since you felt sexy? You know, And if you can find the answer to that, maybe attack that first. So if yeah. it's stress, you need to find a way to deal with that stress. Sometimes it's even the pill as well. Yeah, it could be. There's so many things that could like influence your hormones and you don't even know it as well. Thoughts on sticking fingers in a guy's ass, how Ooh. to approach it? I would definitely say you need to ask him first. Any <laughs> yeah. sexual act that has gone past what has been consented yeah. to, you need to ask because I'd be very alarmed if anyone stuck their fingers up my ass when I just said I wanted to enjoy penis and vagina penetration. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, and then all please, of a sudden you got a surprise. Yeah, exactly. You don't want doo-doo on your finger because if he ain't had not <laughs> douched as well, yeah, no, be very messy. Not. Very messy. How to not queef if there is a way. Um, how to not queef. I would say let the queefing happen, you know, <laughs> let the queef be free. But no, seriously, I would say try different positions, lube, but don't make a big deal out of queefing. Like it's it's a vagina, it, yeah. it happens, you know, air gets caught inside and it gets Must trapped. Pass. It's literally yeah. science. You can't beat science sometimes. But I would say try different positions and lube as well. Definitely mm-hmm. lube. Gotta love the lube. Always love the lube. Yeah. Help a sister out. Yeah. What should I do if someone refuses to wear a condom? Ooh, what should I do if someone refuses to wear a condom? Hit Good them. question. I think you should definitely just not have sex with them. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah. So weird? So yeah, weird. that's so, yeah. I would say definitely just don't have sex with a them. A lot of people, like, that's like normal. Like, a guy's yeah. like, no, I'm not wearing one. Well, if he doesn't <laughs> want to wear a condom, then don't have sex with him. If he doesn't there want to have sex that bad, does billions he? of guys in the world who are more than happy to wear a condom and do not want to catch STIs yeah. or other diseases like a baby. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> you will survive this horny Yeah, moment. exactly. Move on to the next. Yeah. Is it normal to not always reach the big O? Absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. But what we want to do is not make it normal. I feel like the only reason why it's normal is because we still do not know how to have sex. And I think that's what we need to change. We need to learn how to have better sex. So it isn't a thing that's normal. But if you're not having an orgasm, I feel like you need to understand what pleasure feels like on your own i was gonna say like what you do to yourself then you can tell what of course can do absolutely to you. exactly we know it yeah you know. Mm-hmm. best techniques for pegging best techniques for pegging Ooh, i would definitely say first of all lots of lube yeah. again i know i keep banging on about this but <laughs> lube is so important you need in yeah lube, i yeah. do i really listen <laughs> i listen i'm always talking about lube because i feel like a lot of people just expect their vagina walls to just be lubricated 24 mm-hmm. 7 yeah. and i think like lubrication is important when it comes to anal sex especially because mm. the anus is a lot more sensitive as well so what you don't want to do is allow any ripping or tearing to be happening in your back door so lube is definitely important and um and starting on a position that feels comfortable for both of you i think like the standard position obviously would probably be on all fours yeah so that's what i was thinking yeah what would you do if you were probably on all fours yeah how do you tell your partner that their sex talk is shit Ooh, 
that's awkward. Oh, you don't need to see. This is a thing. I feel like you don't have to say it's shit. I feel like you could start off with a good thing. Be like, babe, I really like when you do this or start off with something that's yeah, good. A but I feel, yeah, a positive. Then mm-hmm. say, you know, I really want us to improve this though. Like, can we try <laughs> something else instead of, do you get what I mean? Yeah. 100%. So let them work them up and make them feel good. <laughs> yeah and then got, i'm not saying it's like school yeah, yeah exactly. i agree <laughs> i really agree yeah because I, I, i'm thinking about it like i would not want my partner to be like oh you're shit giving blowjobs okay I, I, like i just know that's not true but like <laughs> you know I, you have to think like how would i want someone to tell me to improve something mm-hmm. especially if it's coming from a place of like true. you know i want us to have amazing sex and i don't want to be cringed out by what you're doing or saying what would be your number one blowjob tip Ooh, lube <laughs> I should have Saliva, known. hands, no teeth. Um, and you have to read the big O for more tips. Amen. <laughs> Skip those pages, keep yeah. going. Um, I get worried when sleeping around, what if someone is saying I'm bad or criticizing? Um, people are always going to talk yeah. and you just have to let them talk. And I think it's just important to maybe not share all your sexual escapades with people who aren't as sex positive as you. Yeah. I feel like if you surround yourself with people who are sex positive, who aren't judgy, then, fine. then you're fine. But if you're surrounding yourself with people who like snarl at you every time you say you met a fit guy, then <laughs> like, yeah. Jealousy. Yeah, That's exactly. Like mm-hmm. um, this is a question for you. Would you ever do it outside? Would I ever do it outside of yeah. what? Outside? Like outside. Oh, I mean, haven't we all? <laughs> in a car. Yeah, haven't we all? But some people do it in graveyards though, and that's where I draw the line. Do you know what? I've heard of people wanting to do it at graveyards, I'm and I, to them, I say good luck. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. I agree, because you're getting haunted For real. after that. Yeah. How do you not get razor bumps when shaving? Um, how do you not get razor bumps? I feel like if you are getting razor bumps, maybe you should just stop shaving. Yeah. Stop shaving Go and try- wax? Yeah, try a different technique. And yeah, like I, just, I feel like when people start shaving and they get those bumps, I'm just like, stop doing it then. Just stop. Put it down. Yeah. Put the razor down. Yeah. Okay, first time having sex. Ooh. How to prepare yourself. How to prepare yourself. Yeah. If you know what it is that you enjoy in the bedroom, so you understand your body, you know what it is mm-hmm. you enjoy, you need to communicate that with your partner. You need to make sure you have the condoms. You need to make sure everybody has been tested. Well, if you're Everyone's a virgin, ready, I don't, yeah. you don't need to. But if they if they have, <laughs> yeah. if they haven't, or I mean, well, if they've had sex, yeah, then make sure they're tested. Condoms, lube, and start off on, you know, I would say like gentle positions not Mm -hmm. don't do any crazy acrobatic things so when my friend lost her virginity the guy made her go on top and i was like is that not a violation first of all you're losing your virginity and he's going go then yeah get on top that's rude if you're a guy and you're about to take someone's virginity let them lay they just let them just let lay lay, please honestly traumatic enough for real it really is (laughs) anyway um i my boyfriend wants to go down on me but i'm too scared because i'm insecure about if i'll smell Oh, babe, like that is such a common dilemma. Honestly. That's what everyone like. Yeah, I hear it all well. the time. I hear it all the time. But, and it's weird because you'd think it'd be men who'd be more worried about their smell, especially because, anyway, I've seen, be, yeah. I've seen a lot oh, of no. stories from Smeg. some unhygienic, yeah. and I'm just like, oh my God, people are having sex with <laughs> people. Anyway, um, if you are insecure about what you smell like, why not go to a guy con- guy- <laughs> guy- <laughs> guy- gynecologist yep. gynecologist, and um, just go for a checkup, make sure that everything's fine yeah. because, you know, smells can be due to BV mm-hmm. or um, other, other infections that you might possibly have. That's mm-hmm. only if you think you smell. Yeah. Like if you believe that you smell, make sure you get tested. And then I you thought, put your pe- like, peace of mind. Yeah, yeah put peace your mind at rest yeah. at least anyway. And then once that's been done and everything's good to go, I would say you need to go there with confidence and be like, right, I'm ready. Yeah, and it's not like it's it's a vagina's not going to smell like roses. It's not going to smell lilies, like roses, you know honestly. I mean? yeah. It's going to smell like pussy. It really will. People think it's going to be like skittles, or you know, I see <laughs> women saying, <laughs> "Oh, if I eat pineapples and da 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 da." Like, yeah, listen, yeah. like, just chill. Vulvas are going to smell like vulvas, yeah. and that's fine. It's a vulva world out there. 